Hey guys, it's Linda here. And um, I woke up this morning really excited that I'm going to find a place and listen to and hopefully see some new stream of the truckers. And there's only one place you can go. And um, I guess you guys who are looking for it know that place. Um, it's Ride for the Constitution. And there's this guy who has a radio show. So for two hours, Kenny and I sat here and we listened to this. Pardon my language, but I call it. Um... Well, I won't say what I think it is. Anyway, they slandered, well, they t talked about other people for two hours. We didn't hear nothing about the truckers, not one thing. It was more about, oh, I've got breaking information on what happened to bin Laden. Well, I know what happened to bin Laden, too, and if you weren't around in 2001 and awake, <laughs> then you're way off the base. We heard Fox News report he died in 2001, you know. They, they reported him that, and so that had to be their breaking news over the truckers, and then other stuff about Hillary and Benghazi. I only wanted to hear about the trucker. I didn't want this to be some kind of, I'm better than you fest, and so far, I took a nap, and I woke back up, and turned that back on, that radio station, and um, now they're talking about Alex Jones, which they were prior to me going to sleep. I don't like Alex Jones, but I certainly don't need to hear about how they dislike him. I want to hear about the truckers. So I'm asking anybody in YouTube land who near, near, lives near the Beltway, please go out and you stream some of this. This would be more important and better journalism than what I'm getting right now. And the next time any event wants to happen, it needs to be spontaneous, and you get a lot of different people out there. So we have different perspectives from every point of view. So we can, you know, decipher for ourselves what's going on. My biggest fear is nobody's going to be able to put up anything that is truthfully happening on the truthers' protest. I mean, the truckers' protest at this point. If they've let, allowed one show to take, you know, the, the gateway and hold this for them, and that's exactly what it seems like, one gateway in. I'm asking anybody on YouTube, please get out there and get some live stream of this so we can watch and hear from the truckers. I don't want to hear about Alex Jones or breaking info. I want to hear about the truckers and how they're doing. That is my biggest concern. And I come Sunday, I would like to hear about how the veterans are doing. I really don't want to have to depend on this one radio show that seems to like to sling mud and break breaking news that has been old news for a long time. I don't like to hear about sources you can't give their name to. To me, that's not a source. Whistleblowers. If they're blowing the whistle, you come out and blow the damn whistle. Um, I mean, so some of this stuff was very old news to us. And gosh, if it was new news to some people, then you've really been asleep for a while. I'm not trying to knock this radio station. But they focused on their ego rather than the truckers. Now, please, use tube. Anybody in that beltway, get out there and please help us out so we can see what's happening. I love you guys. I'm not trying to bash this show as the first time I listened to it, but the egos are just too grandiose for me. Seems like they're trying to compete with Alex Jones. Don't like him either. Don't like his ego. This shouldn't be about ego. This should be about humanity right now. And um, if you can, please get out there and share some, you know, enlighten us with what's going on. I know it's raining. Maybe go out there tomorrow. Peace, love, truth. Linda's out.